We've been going to Abu Dhabi now for some time. It's always been a twilight race, but actually the, the, visually it's still one of the most spectacular races on the year because the, the architecture of, around the circuit, the Yas Hotel, just even the bridges and the grandstands are stunning and lit up in the, in the twilight as the sun sets. It looks absolutely stunning. And also that's the point where the sun sets on the Formula One season for the year as well. So it has a certain evocativeness, I think. The track for me lacks a bit of elevation change. They've clearly tried to make um, overtaking opportunities by creating long straights preceded and followed by low speed corners, so big braking zones, and relatively straight exits, which means that overtaking there is not impossible, but actually everywhere else in the circuit you can't overtake, so both the straights come next to each other. In qualifying the circuit is quite challenging because the, all the straights come at the start of the lap, and then at the end of the lap the, the corners come thick and fast. And, uh, and again, through qualifying, the track temperature is changing a lot and the tyres aren't covering through that final sector. So the, the tyre response to the track temperature is quite exaggerated. There's always fuel saving required in Abu Dhabi because some of the corners are very low speed and accelerating our low speed corners uses a lot of fuel. Normally, it's a one-stop race, maybe a two-stop race occasionally. That's partly because the pit loss is high. So the cars on track are going quite fast around turn one is a high speed corner. The cars exiting the pit lane have to go down to a very low speed 90 degree corner through a tunnel under the circuit and then take the pit exit. So they lose a lot of time making a pit stop and that reduces the number of pit stops we try to make. 